Hi, I'm Dr. Bransfield. What causes violence? Does Lyme disease? These questions are addressed in aggressiveness, violence, homicidality, homicide, and Lyme disease. Syphilis may have contributed to the behavior of notorious historical leaders. To what extent have infections contributed to violence in human history? Violence occurs when there's an imbalance of multiple contributors and deterrents. Some contributors are acute triggers. The epidemiology, immunology, psychoimmunology, neurochemistry, and neurocircuitry of violence are reviewed. Types of violence include impulse control disorders, predatory violence, and psychotic violence, each with different pathophysiology. Multiple infections, including Lyme disease, have caused aggression in both animals and humans. There are three arms to the study of Lyme disease. A retrospective chart review identifying patterns of aggression, comparing 50 patients who were homicidal to 50 who were not, and an analysis of homicides. A prior study showed 26% of suicidal Lyme patients were also homicidal. When comparing homicidal to non-homicidal patients, there was a greater prevalence of multiple impairments associated with homicidal risk. The 100 patients analyzed were quite healthy pre-infection but had significant impairments post-infection. All of the psychiatric symptoms evaluated were greater in the homicidal patients. The average homicidal Lyme patient had a delay of nine years before diagnosis and treatment. Intrusive violence thoughts, images, and urges were seen in a number of patients. Homicides were mostly predatory, but they were also impulsive and psychotic. There's a sequence of physiological events that is similar with both suicide and homicide. When using the basic violence model, Lyme disease can cause a number of impairments that can increase contributors, compromise deterrence, and increase acute triggers. Collectively, this increases the potential for violence and may result in fatal consequences. Impairments associated with violence were then combined into a model to help explain violence with Lyme disease. Although most Lyme patients have no aggressiveness, some acquire the impairments that collectively can increase violent potential. Improved insight, better prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of Lyme disease can help prevent violence and save lives. Thanks for listening.